Alright, James, here we go, man. This is the uh, new 5 watt Fender Vibro Champ XD amp that I got. I told you I'd put you a video up, so uh, let me run down a few of the things on here. Uh, we've got our gain, volume, voicings. There are 16 different voicings from uh, acoustic to British tweed, uh, vintage tweeds, black faces, you name it. It's kind of got a. Uh, uh, a clean, kind of a mid gain and a high gain on each one of the different voicings. Um, we've got treble and bass, no mids, uh, effects level, and the effects selector. On the effects selector, we've got reverb, uh, chorus, tremolo, vibratone, and delay. Also, in between each one of these uh, different effects, you can add delay to it, so that's kind of cool. It's uh, got two uh, AXL7s or whatever they are, and two CXLs or whatever they are, you know, the, the tubes that are in here. Um, and then it's using a special custom Fender uh, speaker in the back. Uh, not real big, it's only like a little 25 pound, you know, decent practice amp. Uh, I run it with the Tube Screamer and my Strat. Uh, they've been making these since the 60s, but they never had the effects and the, the effects in the. Uh, the voicings on it before, so that's what they've kind of added in there, which is kind of cool to have the effects with an actual tube amp. So, anyways, I'll let you hear what it sounds like clean, and then we'll go through a couple of different things. <laughs> clean basically I've got it on the voicing on the acoustic so it sounds clean with the gain turned all the way down the gain you can actually even on your voicings if you have a high gain voicing then you have a separate control with the gain there to be able to crank it even further so between that and the tube screamer I can really crank out some like heavy distortion as best you can with the fender amp anyways uh, here's the the clean acoustic there like I was playing a second ago but with the tube screamer <laughs> on there but I've got it kind of kicked down kicked up a little bit on the uh, tube screamer so uh, then I'll show you a couple of the uh, the effect the voicings here let's see I play mainly the number three which is the uh, high gain crunchy uh, tweed vintage I'll show it to you without the uh, tube screamer on I'll show it with it <laughs> Once you really turn the gain up on this thing, it really gets dirty real fast, so I kind of keep the gain low. Here's the tube screamer. Basically got to drive it like, uh, say, 10, tone right in the middle at 12, and level sitting back at uh, 2 o'clock, like the way Stevie had it set on. So we'll, I'll show you that. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Turn that up just a little bit more. Here. The gain's not up very high. Uh, the tube screamer. Uh, I'll show you a couple of the different effects here. Uh, I usually throw a reverb, reverb on. It's got if you turn the reverb all the way up, it's got some pretty deep reverb to it, so you can kind of really get that hall sound. Get the idea of that. 
you got that, you can actually throw that in with a delay. Let me get the effects level all the way up, let's see. That's uh, reverb with delay. You got your chorus. Versus normal. You've got your uh, tremolo. Man, it gets really fast on the tremolo if you got it all the way up. It's like. Turn it down just a little bit. I think if you lower lowered a little bit lower, you could really get into that BB sound if you had the tone zap right. Just kind of helps with vibrato. Anyways, uh, you go from that, and then you got the vibratone. This is kind of a cool little deal. I don't know really what the heck you use it for, but it's kind of got some cool different sounds you can get out of it. So, like, it's kind of got tremolo and like a vibrato together. Uh, I don't know if that was something they had like on the Vibrolux back in the day, but it's got some weird sounds. <laughs> I think it's uh it's kinda cool. You could do some stuff with it. Uh then you've also got your just your plain old delay and uh, you know what that does, you know. <laughs> I pretty much just use the reverb, like I said, you know, kick it about down to five. Still gives you a good enough. I can't crank this too loud because my volume on my uh, my sound card on my laptop is not that great. I don't want to screw up the webcam there, but, but I'll I'll blast it out. We'll try to see what we get. Sorry about the playing on here, man. I just kind of a spur of the moment thing with why uh, I got the house to myself. So, would have had this on here earlier if the power hadn't gone out for a day. Turn this off here. They don't have a standby on these, which is kind of odd, I thought, for a tube amp. You still have to let it warm up a little bit before you can play with it, but um, you do have the one input on the front. On the back here, you know, you got your on button, your fuse, you got your line out. So you can plug into another amp or whatever. Uh, it's a musical instrument loudspeaker Fender. Uh, it says uh, it's specially designed. I don't know if that has to do with the voicings or whatever, but uh, put a little five watts of two power. And then your speaker out here, you can actually plug this into a uh, a stack if you want to, and you don't have to have an extra cord. It's actually got the cord built in straight off the speaker, so that's kind of cool. You can. Uh, you can run that straight to another to another. Uh, you can run this. Well, I guess you can run this out to a cab. You can run anything you want into this, uh, into any other speaker that you wanted to, as far as I know. And then you can plug this into.